On today's Maker Mashup, we're adding ringtones to our 3D printer. Welcome makers. Today we're gonna to be adding some ringtones to our 3D printer. Now, before you go click into another video, hear me out. We have cell phones with notifications for Facebook, Twitter, text messages, my latest YouTube video. We've got all of these notifications that we hear all the time. And these notification tones really have a real science behind them. Audible cues trigger humans to want to take action. And studies have shown that these can even be stressful for some people in not being able to respond to them. How many times have you been driving the car and you heard your text message go off, but you wanted to look at it, but couldn't? In fact, we had to create a whole set of laws surrounding this because people could not resist looking at their phones while driving. Now, you may be saying to yourself, Rob, I don't need more stress in my life. Where are we going with this? Well, where I'm going with this is that we can use these sort of notifications in our 3D printer workflow. Have you ever started the heat bed heating up, left the room, come back and find the first layer failed? Wouldn't it be great if we could get a notification to know when the print actually started? Or how about running multiple printers at the same time? One of them completes, you hear them running in the background, but you don't know which one completed. So a notification to let us know, hey, I'm printer Y or printer X would be great to have. And if those reasons aren't reason enough, how about the awesomeness of having the Imperial Death March playing when your 3D print finishes? So these audible cues, while entertaining, serve a real purpose in 3D printing. So today I'm gonna to show you how you can create your own ringtones and how to add them to your 3D printer. So with all that said, let's get to work. So inside your 3D printer, there is usually a small speaker and it has generally a really annoying beep when you press on it, when you're making selections. And you'll find this on a variety of 3D printers. And in order to play music, we're gonna to have to take advantage of that little speaker and the M300 command. Now, the M300 command is fairly well supported. It's available in Marlin, RepRap, Prusa firmware, and the command really only accepts two parameters, the frequency and the duration. So M300 is great if you want to output something simple like a beep, but in order to get a ringtone, we're going to need to send a bunch of these M300 commands to our 3D printer. Now you could use a lookup table to match the musical note to the frequency, but that certainly would take a lot of time and we have 3D prints to make. So to save time, we're gonna use a script created by Alex Yu to do all of the heavy lifting. All we're gonna to need to do is find a MIDI file of the music or tones that we wanna play. And those of us old enough to have used flip phones in the past, know that if you wanted a ringtone on a flip phone, you generally had to use a MIDI file. So the 90s and the early 2000s were great and created all of these great MIDI files. And we're gonna be looking for one of those. And then we're gonna be using the script to convert those to our M300 commands. So the first step in all of this is locating a MIDI file. Now you can do a Google search for MIDI files and you will end up with a ton of results. Now I've included some links down in the description of a couple of websites that I was using for this and they give you a wide variety of MIDI files from Star Wars to The Simpsons. And you can use those on your 3D printer. So once we've got the MIDI file, we're gonna head over to the LayerFuse website where I have a link to the MIDI to M300 converter at the top of the page. The rest is really a simple process. We just choose our MIDI file on the form, then we click generate. This creates the M300 codes for the MIDI file. Now, if we have a polyphonic MIDI file, which means that there's more than one instrument within it or multiple tones, what the script 
allows you to do, and Alex really did a great job on this, is select the tracks that you want to output with the M300 command. So you can get the main lead instrument and output that as your ringtone. Now, once we've clicked generate, we can actually preview it here inside the script. But once we're done, all we have to do is copy and paste the code that it generated into our starting or ending G code. Once we have it into our startup script, we can then send it to our 3D printer. I like to use this charge fanfare as my startup ringtone, which I can hear most everywhere in my house. When I hear it, I know my nozzle is purging and about ready to print. This gives me time to check the first layer without watching the entire startup routine. I think this is a fun tone at the start of each print, but I would be really curious to hear if you have something that would start a 3D print even better. Let me know down in the comments. With just a little bit of effort, you can add these ringtones in your startup and ending G-code. Now, you're not limited to starting and ending G-code. If you wanted to use the post-processing feature in most major slicers or even manually, you can modify the G-code and add these notification tones at various places in your printer. And you could find out that you're 50% along or really any percentage that you want. I know for more complex prints that might fail in a certain spot, I've had that happen. I've added these notification tones so that way I can hear when I'm getting to a part of the print that I want to watch and find out maybe why it's failing or just to make sure that it's going to go successfully. If nothing else, these notifications add a little bit of fun for yourself and others while 3D printing. Now, I'm sure you're already thinking of ways that you can use this in your workflow or some really great ringtones that you're going to be using on your printer. Let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear some really creative ideas for startup and ending uh, notifications and how you can also use this in your 3D printer workflow. So with that, it's gonna bring the end of today's video. If you liked it, make sure you mash that like button and don't forget to share and subscribe. Click that bell so you get notified as soon as I push out a new video. And if you'd like to help the channel out, consider checking out my Patreon page. Patrons get access to exclusive videos, member rewards, and all of it really helps the channel. So with that, I wanna say thanks again for watching and we'll see you all next time.